Hey guys, thanks for checking out ID's crime feed. You know, along with the crime feed, I'm also a correspondent in an investigation discovery show. That show comes out nine o'clock on Wednesday nights. It's called Deadline Crime with Tamron Hall. And within the show, sometimes we do a segment called Gut Instinct. As a matter of fact, a couple of weeks ago, I brought you the story of two extraordinary women in California who use their gut instincts, which helped to unravel an intense police investigation, which led to the discovery of J.C. Dugard. So there's so many people out there using their gut instincts. And, you know, earlier today, I was having a conversation with a major of a sheriff's office in Indiana. He was getting ready to go testify in a murder trial. And we talked about how his gut instinct played uh, in place of all of this and really got the ball going uh, for not just this trial, but figuring out that this uh, alleged suspect could be connected to three murders in total, if not more. So this major, his, his name is Major Jeffrey Topping, told me that he and another guy by the name of Officer Matt Kidd were out on patrol April 19th, 2012, when a lookout was put for a, a, a minivan, a blue minivan. It was stolen. It could have been driven by a possible male subject. And what they found was, was that they did locate the van. They went on a short pursuit and they ended up in a Walmart parking lot. And Major Topping said that he saw this man fiddling with something in the center console, went up, asked for his license and registration, eventually searched the vehicle. And in the center console, he found the breast of a woman. It appeared as if the man who was driving this particular van, who's now been identified as William Clyde Gibson, had allegedly cut the breast off of a woman after he murdered her and was carrying this breast around in her stolen van as a trophy of sorts. Well, that murder case is playing out this week in an Indiana courtroom. Investigators found the woman's body, she was identified as 75-year-old Christine Whitus. She was found in his garage, and it was just, it was a horrific scene. It appeared as if she had been strangled, sexually assaulted before her breast was cut off, cut off, and then he jumped in her vehicle and went on the run. Now, along with that case, investigators also found the body of another woman in his backyard, and Somehow, investigators were also able to charge him with another murder from 2002. So, so far, Gibson is not on trial for those other two murders, but for Christine's case, he is. And this week, that major was testifying on the stand in this particular case to talk about his horrific discovery, what he found, and everything that happened. And if it wasn't for that major and Officer Kidd's actions and their gut instincts, who knows where this man would be today. This is a trial that ID is tracking, the crime feed is tracking, and we'll be sure to continue to bring you updates on it. In the meantime, for the crime feed, I'm Michelle Sagona.